Oh yeah. And I'm sat on the balcony now, and um, I'm looking over at Thord, which is over the road there. And while I've been out, a few people ask, have asked me exactly what um, these charges were that um, were brought against me by the council. The council got an injunction from me on December the 5th of last year. And I didn't turn up, and the judge was really good, and he gave me a six-week suspended sentence if I did anything. Anyway, I breached those conditions, and that's why I was in yesterday. Um, however, he knew, um, he knew, he knew the full story, and um, I'm a free man now. Um, I'm not really politically minded, and I'm, you know, I try to stay away from politics, really, to tell you the truth. But uh, I've just watched uh, Rowan Atkinson. It was very, very interesting what he had to say. Other people as well, what, the, what they've got to say, whether you like certain people and uh, you think they're right wing or left wing or what. It doesn't really um, interest me. But the only thing I would say is that um, after what's happened in recent weeks. Um, and don't forget, I've never voted in my life. No. Would you vote Labour now? That's all I'm saying. I'm not... I don't advocate violence, not in any way, shape or form. And I think those people um, who do... Um, who do... <laughs> go and take cars away. I don't know why. Why? Come on. But, um, yeah, uh, I think freedom of speech is, uh, as Rowan Atkinson said, number two in life. Um, and uh, number one is food in your mouth. And number three is a roof over your head. So freedom of speech being number two, I don't know so much about that. But what I will say is, as I said before, if there's an election now, would you vote Labour? Anyway, that's all we've got to say.